Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. So today I thought of responding to some of the widely asked questions in my YouTube channel because I know that there are a lot of people are asking, posting a lot of uh, doubts and queries actually in my comment section. So though I have responded back to them uh, by texting back, I still thought that giving a oral response is much better. So today I wanted to uh, give a time for all of them and uh, it will also uh, help others those who are watching my YouTube channel. So without wasting time, let's get into the questions actually. So let me uh, start with, I just have selected nearly around uh, 10 questions. So let me start from the first one. The first one that I'm going to um, say over here is that uh, it is posted by Nitish Kumar. Hi Nitish Kumar. So the question that he had posted is that uh, the most important question is that uh, after learning PDMS and sufficient piping knowledge, how to start job as a fresher? because all vacancies are uh, going for uh, four to five years of experience. Okay, I got your point actually. Let me respond to you in three bullet points. The first point that I would like to tell you is that the previous video that I made uh, title saying how to get a job for freshers is actually I made after seeing your comment. So I think that will help you to get little more clarity. And second point that I would like to highlight is that it is not that one factor that decides uh, you to get a job because just after completing a course, it doesn't matter that you have to get a job actually. It matters various other factors that I've already discussed in that video. If you are able to, I have, I think I have covered nearly around five points. So if you are able to understand and uh, able to get those five factors achieved actually, so probably uh, you'll be able to get the job very easier actually. And third point that I would like to tell you is that um, uh, the your um, uh, presumption about uh, the vacancy going for four to five years experience. Let me tell you, this is a very common perspective and a kind of a perception that we all have actually. When I was as a fresher, I was also thinking like you saying that uh, the, ex the work, uh, all the vacancies are going for four to five years of experience. Then when I turned for five years, then again, I started thinking about it goes to 10 years of experience. And after 10 years, and I still thought that it goes to 15 years of experience. So basically it needs a little uh, maturity, but uh, I'm not saying that you don't have maturity, but over the times it will come. Don't take it too uh, uh, seriously. It happens with everyone actually. So it is not so. You have to find an opportunity where it goes to freshers. So we have multiple opportunities that are, uh, if you take an online portal, you, you will find uh, n number of opportunities uh, that goes to various levels basically. So our intention is only to uh, find an opportunity where it goes to freshers. I know this is very hard actually because now the demands are very high and the supplies are very uh, less actually. So you have to really give a hard time and you have to really try hard and hard to get a job. So now let's move on to the next question. The next question is by Abhinav Raj. Uh, Sir, I want to open my uh, profession in piping engineering. Please make a video of um, what are the best course uh, I need to take. Okay. This is one of the most widely asked questions in my channel like and uh, what is the course please recommend me the best course. I would never recommend a best course because even for in the best course you may um, get a very worst experience. You know why the best course is always the course that are being uh, customized based on the job requirements in order to get a job because basically we are doing course to get a job. If you are doing a course that is not helping you to get a job, then there is no mean. So who is going to customize? We have to customize and no institutes and no companies will customize you. We have to customize. We have to see the requirements of job and check which course are all offering these requirements. So that is why in one of my video, I have indicated to become a piping design engineer. What are the requirements that you have to prepare yourself? So you have to find an institute and the courses which can at least offer 50 percentage of what the actual requirement is in the market. I would never recommend best course and don't go with the best course. Always go with the requirement. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is posted by Milan Shinde. Please share bullet points for 10 plus years of experience uh, in piping design. So basically he wants uh, some bullet points for those who are about 10 years of experience. So uh, definitely I'll make a separate video for you uh, highlighting what you have to do. But uh, uh, in a simple note, let me just tell you actually being uh, an experienced guy about 10 years of experience. We should concentrate on three important areas. One is layout and materials and stress analysis. So this is how and we would progress actually. So if you are an expert in one particular area, please try to improve your knowledge in other areas also. So three areas, layout, materials and stress analysis. Now let's move on to the next question. Next question is posted by uh, Kamran uh, Zair actually. 
uh, please bear with me i am uh, not really good at pronouncing the names actually if i am uh, pronouncing your name incorrectly please don't feel bad and please bear with me so his question is what is the piping course available in maharashtra uh, to be frank mm, i have never been to maharashtra so uh, i do not know anything about it but i have heard few of my friends and colleagues were talking about there are some good institutes in pune so if you can check some piping institutes in pune and uh, check for the standard institutes then that will help i think internet will definitely help you to get this information so since i am not familiar i can't tell you uh, then let's move on to the next one next one is that by tahir ahmed tahir ahmed uh, asked me that how to apply as a fresher because now companies asking only for 4 to 6 years of experience Yes, Tahir Ahmed. Uh, uh, see, I have already responded uh, in the first uh, question actually. So here the issue is that, and we have an opportunity for every position, uh, like for two year, two to three years, and four to five years, and uh, six to uh, seven years, eight years, nine years. But it is our uh, perspective that if you are in a fresher, you always tend to think that the vacancies are going for higher experienced candidate. It's not like so actually. we always have an opportunity and the opportunities percentages are only 2 to 3 percentage for each and every experience category so for freshers also it is only 2 to 3 percentage and experience also it is 2 to 3 percentage but we tend to see more the vacancies are going for this it is just a perception actually over the period of time when you get a maturity you will be able to recover from that but now your main uh, intention should be to identify the companies which are trying to uh, give you a job uh, i mean the companies which are trying to give you a job for freshers actually basically i would advise to check with the small companies because small companies can give you jobs easier than big mnc companies and mnc companies they have some systematic protocol so it is really hard for them to bring out jobs unless until they don't uh, take candidates from on campus or off campus so now let's move on to the next question The next question is by Ram Charan Joshi actually. So he was asking, uh, can you do a video on how person with associate degree in mechanical engineering and CAD training can get into the world of piping? Joshi, I understand that uh, you have a degree, but I am not sure whether it's a mechanical engineering degree or a diploma degree actually. So I believe that um, you have a mechanical engineering degree. If you already had a mechanical engineering degree. it's really easy for you you have to do a standard uh, certification course this certification course uh, in piping uh, it is recommended just for the sake of uh, adding more value to your cv because when the cv goes to interviewer interviewer will see you that you have done some certification so at least you have a basic knowledge so you can start from there actually doing a certification course and then uh, try to improve more and more knowledge by by doing self preparation by learning more books and by going through a lot of articles and doing some self preparation by uh, using the piping softwares and 3d modeling softwares and spending a lot of time in preparation basically so by this way you can get into the piping world as you said actually then focus on uh, structuring your cv so once you start getting a calls for a job actually then you will find easier to navigate so now we will move on to the next question actually The next question is asked by Deepak Singh which field is best piping engineering or static equipment engineering both the fields are equally good because as long as the process plant exist process plants such as oil and gas refineries and chemical plants and fertilizers or as long as these plants exist actually you will always find an opportunity for both piping engineering and static equipment engineering so both are equally important now let's move on to the next question so the next question was asked by Suresh Suresh has asked me uh, sir uh, i am working as a piping designer for 7 years okay but i need to do some higher studies or change as engineer uh, please guide me okay i understand that you are working as a designer but still you are having a mechanical engineering degree so how uh, you can change from designer to design engineering role see since you are already have a mechanical engineering uh graduation then you are eligible to apply for these roles actually so because uh, the piping design engineers are expected to have mechanical engineering qualification so the first thing what you have to do is that structure your cv in such a way that it looks like for a piping design engineers and start applying simply actually the moment you start getting a call then uh, after that it will be very easy for you to navigate side by side try to improve a knowledge on how piping design engineer works in your office by looking at the piping engineer or discussing with them so the easiest method is that change your cv structure and start applying as a first action okay now let's move on to the next question the next question is asked by anandu 
Anandu has asked me how to become a piping construction engineer or project engineer. Uh, definitely Anandu, I will make a separate video listing out uh, what are the requirements that you have to do. So uh, I'll try to make it as early as possible so, the, so that it will help you. Okay. Now let's move on to the next question. The next question is asked by Subham Salunki. Uh, I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Please bear with me. So he, what he has asked is, I have completed mechanical engineering and PGD in piping engineering in 2019. From 2020, I am working as a piping uh, trainee piping engineer. Oh, that's really good actually. You have started well. But most of work I have done on AutoCAD software and PDMS. So I want to know that I am on the right track or not. Hi Subham, you are absolutely on the right track because you already uh, started working as a piping engineer. And moreover, you are working, you started working in tools, AutoCAD and PDMS. Uh, please note that most of the piping designers have really really immensely worked on uh, piping tools for nearly around three to four years of time including me actually i worked nearly around three to four years of my initial career only in tools so it is really important to work with tools at the beginning stage of your career because that is where you learn the groundwork you learn the groundwork in terms of preparing the model in terms of preparing the drawings actually so it is very important and you are absolutely on the right track the only thing that you have to focus is that don't try to change your uh, field just because that the oil and gas is going down, petrochemicals are going down. It's not the fact actually I, I have already made a separate video whether the piping in design field is the best or not. You can check that video. So please don't try to change the field. Stay in the same field and try to seek an opportunity and try to seek a growth within the same field or within the same company. We have multiple opportunities. We have a lot of companies in piping. Don't worry about it. If you go and search in the internet, you will find more than hundreds of companies in India. So you don't have to bother about the opportunity or the number of companies exist. Stay in one place and learn more and more so that you can grow yourself within the same field actually. That's it guys. I think I have covered most of the widely asked questions. So if you have any more questions, you can always post. I'll try to uh, give you a response in my upcoming videos. And if you like this video, please give me a like and don't hesitate to give me a like because that is how the YouTube works actually. More the likes and more it gets promoted actually. So please give me a like and also uh, share with uh, any one of your friends so that it will help me for better promotion. So I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.